All right, sticking with, uh, for a topic-based blog, it's June 14th, 2011. Since I am traveling, I'm going to stick with the travel uh, topic, and, and I think one of my highlights of all my traveling that I've done um, is when I went to meet my brother Kyle in Big Flats, California. This is in the King's Range Conservation Area, which is north of San Francisco, a good five or six hours on, on Highway 101. And to set it up, um, the backstory is that that um, I was going to New Zealand. I don't know how or why, but I chose to go to New Zealand by myself uh, after maybe the 2004 season. Um, and at the time, Kyle and Brendan were doing some survival stuff, and so they wanted to go try to live out in kind of the wilderness uh, for a long time, months if they could, and freaking catch rabbits or uh, live off the land, grow food. Uh, but as a backup, they took, uh, you know, pounds and pounds of dried goods, rice and beans and stuff. Anyway, they decided to go to the Kings Range Conservation Area, and there's an area called Big Flats that Kyle had discovered a couple years before. Uh, it's a surfing Basically, it's, an, it's a destination for some surfers in Northern California. And the Kings Range Conservation Area is totally off the grid. Basically, uh, Highway 101 goes north up um, the coastline of California, but then it pulls off the, the Pacific um, for, I don't know, 100, 150 miles. And so this coastline in California is just, there's nothing out there. Uh, some mountains. And uh, there's a really cool uh, point break out there that Kyle had been to before, and you have to hike and camp to get out there. So Kyle said, hey, we're going to go out there. We're going to live for several months if we can. And then in the meantime, I went to New Zealand. So I said, hey, I'll try to meet you all when I get back from New Zealand. So I was getting close to the end of my trip in New Zealand, and Kyle sent me an email uh, giving me basically directions on where he was. Um, in the meantime, Brendan had gotten diarrhea or he would some kind of bug, and so he wasn't feeling good, so he left, and Kyle ended up living out there for a month or two on his own, a couple months on his own, uh, which is a whole other story altogether, but um, I said, yeah, man, I'd like to meet you out there. So uh, a little bit more backstory is that Kyle, when he was out there, he thought he got... Um, he thought I got bit by a spider and was not feeling well. And ultimately, very long story short, he ended up having a helicopter. He had a, There was a guy out there surfing who had a cell, satellite phone. He had a Coast Guard helicopter fly him into the Eureka Hospital, which is, you know, 50 miles away because he was getting feverish. It ended up that he had staph infection. They treated him for it. He was feeling better, so he went back out to the campground at Big Flats. So he sends me an email saying, hey, you know, here's directions on how to get here. And for better or for worse, we are always trying to do stuff kind of the hard way. So instead of renting a car, I was like, I'll take the Greyhound bus up to the Big Flats and um, meet you that way. So um, he sends me an email that says, Steve, from San Francisco, take the Greyhound bus uh, on the 101 to Redway, California. It's approximately six, seven hours on the Greyhound bus. Um, when you get to Redway, get off the bus and hitchhike 30 miles to the coast from Redway to a little town called Shelter Cove. At Shelter Cove, it's a tiny little fishing town. There's a beach near the Shelter Cove, near Shelter Cove called Black Sands Beach. You start hiking at Black Sands Beach north along the coastline, right along the beach, and it's a 10-mile hike and, until you get to Big Flats. But, but he said, you know, be careful because you have to start your hike. You can't start your hike at low tide because if you start at low tide, by the time you get 10 miles, um, the tide will be up, and the the beach, there's beach, but there's also a cliff, basically, um, that the beach runs into. So if the tide comes up and you're on the beach, you can't get up the cliff. You're stuck in uh, in the tide, basically. 
So I had, he said, check the tides and leave as the tide's going out or, or at high tide. So, um, and they said, you know, cross like three or four rivers, the small rivers, and you cross one large river and you'll see a big green kind of meadow. And that's, you know, our campsite's up in the, the woods, kind of at the edge of this meadow that meets the coast. So I ended up uh, staying in San Francisco right when I got back from uh, New Zealand and I stayed with my buddy Steve Stiegler and that night, I was going to leave the next morning to uh, Big Flats. That night, huge thunderstorm came through. I mean, lightning and torrential rains. And So me and Steve that night were like, holy shit, man. I mean, this is a lot of rain. You think, you, sh you know, should I actually be doing this? Um, and so I get a call. I slept that night and I got a call in, in overnight um, and I didn't didn't hear it. But Kyle leaves me a message and he's on a satellite phone. And this is his message exactly. It says, He's like, hey, Steve, this is Kyle. I don't know if you can hear me, but there's a storm coming through, so be sure that you don't. And it goes static. So me and Steve Stiegler are listening to this message. And we're like, holy shit, dude. He just said, be sure you don't something. And I'm like, fuck, no. And Kyle, it could be like, just be sure you don't forget the peanut butter because he was craving peanut butter and chocolate and all the stuff that he hadn't had while he, since he'd been out there. So we wake up the next morning, we kind of toss around, I'm like, screw it, man, I'm at least going to try to go here. Get on the bus, I can always turn back. So I get on the Greyhound, I take my seven hour bus ride on the Greyhound, which is a completely different story in itself. I mean, the most characters you've ever seen on the freaking Greyhound bus. Um, but it's raining the whole time, all day long. So by the time we get to Redway, it's dark. I get off the bus, it's pouring rain, kind of like, same thing, like sideways rain, basically hitting me in the face. Small towns, there's just a few lights everywhere. It was like one of those things out of a movie where like you see signs like blowing in the wind, like, Arr, I got this bus and I'm like, holy shit, man, what, what am I doing? So I make a little sign saying, hey, um, you know, I need to get to Shelter Cove. Um, and it's nighttime and I'm standing at this gas station. It's raining. I have a huge backpack. I have nowhere to go. People end up coming by. This drunk ass Indian came by and like tried to make friends with me. Ended up uh, getting kind of kicked off the gas station grounds because they thought I was panhandling. But I was like, look, man, I'm just trying to get a ride to Redway. I mean, uh, Shelter Cove. Um, and I am actually going to... I'm going to push pause and do this in two parts. So uh, we'll end with me in the gas station with a drunk Indian.